हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जावा प्रोग्रामिंग प्लेलिस्ट वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द कंस्ट्रक्टर्स एंड इन दैट वी हैव सीन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टर वी हैव सीन द टाइप्स ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टर एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टर दैट इज कंस्ट्रक्टर ओवरलोडिंग नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी कंस्ट्रक्टर व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर कॉपीइंग वन ऑब्जेक्ट टू अनदर ऑब्जेक्ट दैट इज अ कॉपी कंस्ट्रक्टर इन जावा प्रोग्रामिंग let us now first introduce what is a copy constructor so in java a copy constructor is a special type of constructor that creates an object using another object of the same java class so my dear friends we have to remember this statement that it is of the same java class because we are creating copy it returns a duplicate copy of an existing object of the class we can assign a value to the final field but the same cannot be done using the clone method now my dear friends in java there is a method called clone where we can create a clone of an object but in that clone it is not possible to do uh, the cloning of fields which are final defined in a class it is used if we want to create a deep copy of an existing object so clone is used when we are supposed to create a deep copy it is easier to implement in comparison to the clone method so creating a copy constructor is easy in comparison to the clone method let us see the syntax of copy constructor so here is the syntax so we have a class with the name fruit in that we have two member variables which are defined as the private member variables so my dear friends we have seen this access modifiers like public private and default and protected in the previous video so you can go through it if you are not remembering or if you have not seen the video so we are defining this private variables with the type double the name price and then string and name so it is like there is the fruit which is having some name and some price now this uh, we are keeping it hidden so we are keeping it private so we can use a copy constructor to create an object of class fruit from another object so here the important thing to observe is this argument so here this argument is an object of the class fruits itself so here this is the object name fruits where f is small and here is the class name where f is capital so here you can see the class name f capital r u i t s so it is fruits so we are having an object and here it is the getter so that means we will take the values of this fruit class and assign to the new object here is the detailed example so there is this class fruit with having two member variables f price and f name the constructor to initialize the variables so this is a regular looking constructor where it is having the two parameters price and the name so whatever the price and name are given are passed as an argument will be assigned to this uh, local class member variables that are declared as private so f price is equal to price and f name is equal to name now this is the important thing where we are creating a copy constructor so here we are having this fruit f and the constructor so we are using this f f dot f price so whatever the f price of this object will be given to the f price of the newly created object and same is the f name so f dot f name of of the object f will be given to the newly created object so we are creating a method that returns the price of the fruit there, there is this two methods double show price it is returning this f price and string show name that is returning this f name because they are private so we are supposed to get the methods we are supposed to write the methods to fetch the value of f price and f name so all this will be called in a class which is having the copy constructor creation 
so there is this public class fruit demo so class to create the fruit object and print the price of any name of it so here this is fruit demo class so we have public static void main fruit f1 is equal to new fruit so there is new fruit created here this is the price of the fruit and name of the fruit that is a royal green grapes now we are printing the values just to make sure that whether this are assigned to it so name one is equal to plus f1 dot show name so f1 is this object and show name will return me the name which is royal green grapes and price one that is the price of the first fruit will be f1 dot show price so it will return me 399 so up till this which is okay which is uh, fine now passing the object of the copy constructor so we are creating new object f2 equal to new fruit f1 so we are passing this object f1 in the constructor of the fruit f2 in f2 what will happen is the values of f1 that is 399 and royal green grapes will be assigned to f2 then it will print this line after invoking the copy constructor so we have done this copying after invoking the copy constructor name 2 that is the name of the second fruit will be f2 dot show name and price 2 that is the price of the second object second fruit will be f2 dot show price so what is expected the name and price of the second object should be the same as that of the first object so if you write all these things in one common java file compile it and execute it what is the output that we will get is here is the output so name one is equal to royal green grapes yes that is the name given and price one is equal to 399 so that is the price given after invoking the copy constructor see copy constructor is called here and then this method is printed that is after invoking the copy constructor name to at two dot show name so it is giving me the same name that is royal green grape that is of same of the first object and price is also 399.0 because it is of the type double now the question rises why cannot i write f2 is equal to f1 directly okay just like we are having for the basic data types if i want to copy value of one integer variable to another integer variable i directly write a is equal to b but why i cannot do the same thing here because if you do here fruit f2 is equal to f1 then the values are not copied from f1 to f2 rather the reference is made to the same memory space okay so if you make any changes to f2 it will be reflected to f1 and if you make any changes to f1 it will be reflected to f2 but if you want don't want this to happen because they will be referring to the same memory space if you don't want this to happen then we have to write the copy constructor where the values of one object will be copied to the another object i hope this is very much clear my dear friends thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more videos on java programming